Hello everybody, I'm Derek from Sony and today I'm going to quickly go over what the ambient light and color sensor technology is on the Sony TV and how it makes the picture quality better and truer to the director's intent. And we've had a couple of requests to go over this, so here we go. Now before we get into exactly what it is, why is it so important? Well, I did mention director's intent. When a content creator creates their content or a director is, is mastering his content, it's always in a very controlled room. There's no windows, it's very dark walls, dark ceilings, very minimal light, just to make sure that the director can focus on what the picture quality is. Shadow detail, highlight performance, as well as color accuracy. So how do we make sure we get that at the home? We can get it in the theater because that similarly, very dark space and everything is designed to make sure it doesn't negatively affect the actual viewing experience or the picture quality. The ambient light and color sensor technology in the Sony TVs is a way to read your room and give you that director's intended picture. Of course, you could go the route of replicating the theatrical environment by painting your walls and ceilings, new carpeting, blackout curtains for the windows, and also just have very controlled lighting. Absolutely could do that. But that may not be practical for a lot of people. And that's where you rely on the ambient light and color sensor technology to make sure it makes those adjustments for you. And there are three ways that this actually works. And we're gonna go over each one. You have the ambient light sensor, the ambient light sensor with tone curve, as well as the color sensor. Now, not all of these features are available on every TV, but I will explain each one as we go. When you go into the picture settings of the TV, you'll notice an option for light sensor or ambient light sensor. The first one we're gonna talk about is just the light sensor. If you have an X80 or an X85 series TV, this will be the only option you have, either on or off. In other TVs, it'll be labeled as auto luminance level. They both do the same thing, and this is what they do. If you have a really bright room, they will boost the brightness overall of the panel to make sure it helps to overcome some of the reflections of the room and really just match the brightness of the room that you happen to be in. If the room is very dark, it will dim the panel down to make sure that you're not gonna suffer from eye fatigue and still get a absolutely fantastic picture without being too overwhelming. If you have a Bravia XR TV, you'll notice that this is actually labeled as the auto luminance level within the light sensor menu. So it'll do essentially the same thing, but it's just called something a little bit different. But also on the Bravia XR TVs, you'll notice you have auto tone curve. This takes that same adjustment to the next level. So this will read the room brightness, but instead of just adjusting the panel brightness, it will actually adjust the shadow detail and highlights to make sure they are accurate based on the brightness of the room. So a really, really bright room, as you boost up the brightness, you might actually get a little bit of a change in your highlight detail and your shadow detail, and the auto tone curve will make sure that those stay true and accurate to what you're intended to see. And the final option is the color sensor. Now this is only available on the 2021 Master Series TVs or the 2022 Bravia XR TVs. This is labeled as auto white balance in the menu, and it works very similarly to the auto white balance of a camera. Based on the color temperature of the lighting in your room, it will actually change the color temperature of the TV. So if you're watching with really warm lights like I have behind me, which I typically do at night, it will adjust according to that. But during the day, when you have much cooler light, uh, like I do have pointing at me now, it will adjust according to that. So no matter what your lighting situation is, whether it's day or it's night or you have artificial light, maybe your colors are an interesting color and that can actually change the color temperature feel of the room, it's gonna adjust according to whatever the situation happens to be, giving you the closest to the director's intent. So that about wraps up what the ambient light and color sensor feature does on a Sony TV. And ultimately it's up to you to decide whether you wanna use these features or not. But if you do tend to have a pretty varied watching environment where you watch at night with warm lights like I do, and then during the day with brighter lights or even a window open with that's a lot cooler, definitely take advantage of these features because it's just gonna make sure that you're getting the best possible picture that you can get. And if you want to know more, have any other additional questions, there's a link in the description below for the Sony 101 consultation program to talk to an expert like myself. And we also offer a video chat option to make sure we can share information super easily to make sure we get the best Sony solution for you and your needs. I've been Derek from Sony. Thanks for watching.